In this video, I'll be unboxing the Corsair HX 650 watt power supply. This is one of Corsair's highest end power supplies, 650 watts, but available in other wattages as well. And it's modular, so that's good. So you can add and remove the cables as you please, allowing really good cable management in your case. And it weighs an <laughs> you can tell how good it is. It weighs an absolute ton. Okay, so you can see it's seven year warranty. So and Corsair's warranties are really good. So if anything goes wrong, you can return it. But these things are extremely reliable. They'll last for a very long time. Modular as well, that's probably the same in different languages. Can't speak any of them. So, on this side, we can see the modular connections you get. This, all, this is all the connectors. So, you get an ATX 24 and 20 pin compatible, so you can remove the four pins if you want to use it on a 20 pin board. You've got your extended power for your motherboard, one of them. Four PCI Express 6 pin and 8 pin pins, so that's really good. So, you'll be able to run you know, your SLI and Crossfire on that. So it'll break off at the end to give you 6-pin or go on for 8-pin. 9 serial ATA connections, that's really good. Um, 8 4-pin Molex connections, which are still useful. And 2 floppy connections, which you're not going to be running a floppy drive, but there are some other little peripherals that do still use these. On the back of the box, this thing is really heavy, to killing my finger. Um, ow. Um, more information about it. More stuff there, just pictures, stuff like that. So it's a really good supply and it's... You know, it's just really good. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, so now let's open the box and remove the supply. So, up. Oh. Oh. There you go. The first thing you get is a set of four black screws. So, that's nice it's a black power supply, so you can use black screws to install it so that matches. A little bag of cable ties. That's good for managing wires in your case with a little. Powered by Corsair sticker. A user's guide. You probably wouldn't really need one for a power supply, but it comes in handy if you don't really know what you're doing or you've just not really done much with them before. Big bit of foam here we'll look under in a minute. So, this is the power cable. It's quite a beefy power cable. Pretty thick. Molded plug on the end. In there. So, that's quite good. Um, down here, you've got this little bag here, which contains your modular connections. We'll look, that, look at them in a minute. Now let's, look, now let's look at the actual supply, so it's under here, Take that foam off, and that's power supply there, so it's a nice heavy supply, but it's also not too big, so this will fit in the majority of cases that take standard ATX supplies. Some smaller cases do have issues fitting long supplies, but this should be okay. So that's your power supply there, let's we'll put that there to lay it down on, it's heavy. So here you've got, oops, turn it the other way around, you've got a sticker there, more information about it, just not information, just decorative really. Nice bit on the back there. Same on the other side, and that's good. But what they've done that's really clever actually is you, in a case, you'll either install the supply this way or you'll be installing it this way. And what they've done is on one side they've put this, this different way around on either side. So whether you have it this way in your case or this way, this text should always be the right way up. So that's a really nice feature. Um, I've not seen before, I didn't expect that. Okay, so here is more information about the supply. You probably want to pause the video. Possibly put it into HD so you can see that, but you can see how high quality the supply is. They have 624 watts on your 12 volt rail, so almost all the power of the supply can be pulled through the 12 volt rail, which is a really key feature of a powerful supply. 170 watt on the 3.3 5 volt rail is also very good. 9.6 watt on the negative 12, and 15 watt on the 5 SB, whatever the SB stands for, I can't remember. Um, so that's really, really good. So it just shows the sort of power that the supply has. And it's really killing me how heavy this thing is. Okay, so then look, put it back out. Um, let's look at the connections you actually get. You get another cable tie here. One of these ones are still very good. You can use these in your case, and they're sort of reusable, which is nice. So I'll leave them on just to look at what we get. So what you get supplied is you get this, which is your motherboard auxiliary power. So you can either have it as have it sort of as four pin, which I'll just use one of them. If you've got a four pin board but they go together like that and you can use them as an 8-pin as well, so that's good. You've then got your ATX 24-pin connection and if you're using an older board that doesn't, that only uses 20 pins, they just break off somehow. Like some way that they will. <laughs> there. Yeah, you can just break that off if you want to use an older board. So they just snap off. 
and then can be used on an older 20 pin board or just clip back on it. So it's quite good, you can just do that if you've got an old board. Okay, and then here on the back of this pad, I didn't show you this, these are where all your modular cables plug in. So you've got some of these and some of these different cables will use different ones. Let's check out the weight. And now look at the modular cables. So they come in a really nice little Corsair branded bag. Velcro on it. So you can use these to store, you know, any other, even other cables you're using in your build, as well as the modular cables you don't use. So the first one out of the bag is a serial ATA one. So you've got one, two, three serial ATA. So in this you've got three serial ATA plugs, and then this is just the modular connection to the supply. So three serial ATAs on that one. Here we've got more serial ATA. Yep, again another three one, same as the other one. So what else we have? This, so that's your graphics card. So here what we have is, um, how's this working? Ah, okay, so, yes, uh, okay, you've got, so what you've got, you, on this one you've got two, two graphics card. They are labelled PCIe on them, which again have the sort of snap-on, snap-off things, turn them from 8-pin to 6-pin, depending on what your graphics card takes. As well as this one, which is actually sort of the same connection, but it doesn't have PCIe written on it. And this is the one that goes to the supply. Okay. Another one identical to that. Yeah, another serial ATA connection. And what else do we have? Oh, and then we have our good old Molex. And what you can see here is, I'm trying to show this, is these have these little sort of bits on them that you can sort of squeeze. They sort of squeeze in and out like that. And as you see, when you squeeze that, the little bit here slides over the connector. And it means when you've got to plug into a drive, you can actually squeeze this and the connector sort of pops itself out. Which makes it quite good you're not having to pull and wiggle with the cable trying to get it out. Okay, and the other thing I've just no I've just suddenly occurred to me is these cables are flat. Which makes a really big difference for cable management. It's so much easier. I was trying to deal with another Cortez pack, I can't remember what model it was. And all the cables were braided and really thick and it just got everywhere in the case. Which is really nice and thin, they just don't tangle up, you know, they're really nice. The ones attached to the supply are braided, but these aren't, which is really good for cable management. Okay, so, <laughs> really heavy supply in. Yeah, yeah, big, I forgot about that, big 120mm fan on the top. Um, you switch here, and it's a, so it's an extremely good supply. Um, really good for sort of a high-end build. This is 650 watts, so it should be absolutely fine from like lots of builds. If you are running like an extreme crossfire setup, extreme SLI setup, something like that, or really high power processor or something like that you may want to go up but this is also available in 750 and I think also 850 watt I'm not sure you need to check that but it is available in other wattages so you could go up so thanks for watching